Hi Taurus! Welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're going to do your love reading for June 2019. I call on all my guys, angels, and ascendant masters. Please help me be a clear channel for the Taurus Collective who will be watching this video in regards to their love relationship. We're going to pull three cards just to get the feel of the energy for you guys for this month. One is going to be for your energy. One is for theirs. And then the third one is for the mutual energy, connecting energy of the relationship. All right. Spirit. Ah. Let's push it back. Spirit, can I have a card for the Taurus? Collective energy. Okay. Feng Shui and the Akash. This is so interesting. The Akash has come out several times in several videos this month. So the Akash is the Akashic Records. So the energy uh, for you guys for the month of June is you guys are dealing with Feng Shui. That's the art of placement, organizing, putting things in a way where energy can flow. Um, maybe organizing not only your space, but your life, your relationship, since we're doing a love reading. So organizing it in a way to allow more energy to flow if there's blockages or clog and the Akash. Some of you may be looking into the Akashic records or have done some past life readings or healings, um, but that's the energy. Akash, or you could be dealing with karmic stuff. If you're not looking into the Akashic Record, you could be dealing with things that's in, in regards to the Akashic Records. Basically dealing with karma or karmic relationships or karmic issues that may be coming up for the month of June. Let's see what their energy is. Spirit guys, angels, what is the energy for Taurus? partner for June 2019. Energies for Taurus partner in love for June 2019. What will be the energy surrounding Taurus partner in love? A whole bunch flipped over but the card that is first is beauty. So beauty surrounds them and the card underneath that is what's underneath. So what's underneath the beauty? I'm just going to take those two. So beauty, and there's this is a lot of blue cards, so they could be dealing with throat, communication, maybe third eye, and maybe root chakra as well, grounding, finances. Um, so I, I'm getting that they're they're gonna look below the surface, not just what's on top or what's on the surface, or what's uh, available to the physical eye, but their energies they're gonna go deeper and look at what's beneath the beauty or what's beneath. What I'm getting is don't judge a book by its cover. So they're just not going to look at this, just the cover of a book, but they're actually going to open the book up, look at the pages, look at the table of contents, read the pages, actually look at the details of each page and not just the cover of the book. So that's, the, that's their energy. So they're going to look at things um, deeper, deeper meaning of things is what I'm getting. A deeper meaning of things just not on the surface so that's their energy let's see what's the current connective or mutual energy between the two of you in relationship spirit guides angels what is the current or what is the connective energy mutual energy between all right primal self primal self so either one of you or both of you 
is coming from the personality self, the ego self, and not the spiritual higher self. I'm sensing it may be more them because I feel like this card, primal self, is connected to what I just finished talking about this. So maybe to this point in their life or in, to this point in this or in this relationship or maybe even other relationship, they've only looked at the surface and not like the deeper meanings of things and relationships and they've only been dealing with the surface primal self ego personality self and not dive deep so there so that's the the mutual energy between you guys is this primal self but they're going to be going deeper and you're and you're going to be dealing with akashic to see what is that karmic connection and organizing so it is similar you're going deep to figure out through the akashic record what is the lesson or the karmic lesson and they're starting to look underneath and the connective energy is this primal self so each of you are dealing with it but in a different phase of it looking at it from different from wherever level you're at they're looking at it also but where where they're at and you're looking at it also from where you're at from whatever spiritual whatever spiritual starting point you guys have had or have experienced or have grown through to this phase but you're both going to be dealing with similar things. That's your current energies for June. All right, so we're going to get into the tarot cards. And I'm going to actually do a spread this month versus just reading free form. So I'm going to do five cards unless more jump out. One for your feelings, one for their feelings, one for your thoughts, one for their thoughts, and then the middle card will be the direction the relationship is heading towards or the outcome of the relationship. Spirit guys, angels, what is Taurus? The Taurus Collective who will be watching this video, what is Taurus? Okay. You guys have reached enlightenment or in the process of reaching enlightenment with the halo around his head that really stuck out and was prom prom prominent to me so you guys are taking a time out taking a pause not making any move or action reflecting looking at things objectively looking at things from different angle and getting like an aha light bulb moment so that's your feelings your feelings is you just want to pause whole time out to be able to look at things from different perspectives or different angles. So that's how you're feeling about the relationship. So that kind of go with this organization, getting energy to flow and move. Let's see what are their feelings. What is Taurus person's feelings in regards to this relationship or in regards to Taurus? The Queen of Wands flip over so you guys may be dealing with a passionate person or a fire sign, Leo, Aries, um, or Sagittarius, but not necessarily. This black cat stands out to me, so I don't know if they're into superstition or is superstitious they're feeling passionate about something
they're feeling passionate about something this black hat stands out so i don't know if there's some belief belief or superstition or belief that they believe in that they're passionate about and i'm noticing these two leos which is also like feng shui the um the two feng shui animal in the chinese i don't know what they're called they're called some kind there's a name for them i can't think of them but the, these two um, things they're not lions but they're foo foo lion or something like that so these two are standing out so they're feeling I'm hearing order it's like they want to follow a certain order or superstition or belief that's what they're feeling, but I'm going to clarify that. Spirit guides, angel, can you clarify this Queen of Wands in regards to Taurus person and what they're feeling in regards to the relationship with Taurus? Spirit guides, angels, please clarify this Queen of Wands for Taurus person's feelings in regards to Taurus and their relationship with Taurus. What does this Queen of Wands mean? Please clarify the Queen of Wands in regards to the Taurus person's feelings in regards to the relationship. We have Four of Cups and the Lovers. As I was shuffling, Spirit brought my attention back to these cards, the energy for them, their energy, beauty, and what's underneath. It's like I was getting like, see the sunflower? They're always looking at the beauty in things, the, the surface, like at surface, value on the surface everything is always beautiful bright and sunny and they're looking deeper and there's this black cat so underneath the beauty there's more than meets the eye because they are feeling dissatisfied and they want to go deeper because they've only looked at stuff that's on the surface it's kind of like appearance like everything is going good it looks good the the normal the norm status quo is good but there's something missing on a soul level that they're not satisfied with and they they want to go deeper because they're not they're not really passionate about they may not be passionate about the relationship or they don't feel as passionate as they think they should feel or like something is missing and on the surface everything is good but they want to go deeper it's like a soul hunger see here's the here's the lovers six so they're both totally open and nude so they want to go deeper and ex expose everything like see everything like uncover everything uncover everything take all the the clothes off take all the mass off take off the not just skim along the surface but go deeper so that's what they're feeling they're feeling they want to dive deeper go deeper so that's what they're feeling 
Okay. So it feels very balanced, actually, up here in this energy. And then you're t pausing and wanting to reflect. And they're wanting to go deeper. So I feel like a balance, like you're each doing the same thing in your own on your own in your own way all right so let's see what are your thoughts my cards are all mixed up okay hold on all right spirit guys angels what are tar's top thoughts in regards to this relationship what is how is tar's thinking about this relationship tar Taurus thoughts in regards to this relationship. Okay, so you guys are thinking you want a new beginning. You want to take a leap of faith. Maybe start over. That's what you're thinking. You're thinking you want to go on a venture, start a new, take a risk. I hear drop. Like he's at a cliff and he's about to drop. The image I'm getting is like um, people that are parachuting and they're on the plane and they're about to jump. Jump off the plane, skydiving. It's like a drop. I get a sense like you guys are willing to take that risk, take that drop. It's especially for people who are afraid of heights and they're um, wearing this skydiving, but they decide to face their fears. So they're on the plane. And that moment of stepping off the plane or jumping off the plane, allowing yourself to drop, having trust that your parachute will lift you up. That's the energy and the sense and the, the visual that I'm getting for you guys. You guys are willing to take this jump, this leap of faith, this drop. So that's what you're thinking. You're thinking... You're ready for this new adventure or new beginning or take a risk. Just hold, take a deep breath, hold it, and just jump. Jump into the pool, jump into the water, jump off the plane, what, however the situation may be, whatever this new adventure is. Now, I don't know if you're, you you want to do that with them or without them, but that, that's what you're thinking. You're just thinking you want to start this new thing, this new adventure, this drop. <laughs> All right. Temperance, page one. So let me see theirs because I didn't. What is Taurus person's thoughts in regards to this relationship spirit? Taurus person's thoughts in regards to this relationship Okay, they, they're feeling um, regrets and hurt. I get a sense like this is the person that where they, they're the type of said, everything is fine, 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 I'm fine, everything is fine. But something is causing them to go deeper in and as they go deeper in underneath the all the fine 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 i'm fine everything's fine everything's good everything's beautiful as they go deeper and, and uncover they're seeing maybe wounded parts of themselves or hurts and pain that they've cover over that says they're fine where they put a band-aid on the wound where the wound should have had maybe stitches or something so as they're going deeper, their thought is, I'm not fine. I'm seeing these pain and this hurt and this regret that I don't really want to see. It's like he doesn't, he's covering himself. It's like they don't want to see it. It's almost denial, but somehow something, whatever happened is causing them to go in and do sur surgical surgery of their emotional body or their go through that wound that they don't want to and go in. And when they go in, they're seeing this and they don't want to see it, but it's like they're forced to see this. 
So that's what they're thinking. I have to look at this, but I don't really want to look at it. It's kind of like a child or kind of like when you watch scary horror movies and doing the moment of suspense and the music is playing dun, 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 or whatever scary music. And, you know, as a child, you, you run away or you cover your face like, ah, I don't want to see that. I don't want to get scared. It's like they're going in to look at it, but it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to see this. So they're they're feeling like they don't want to see this. I don't want to look at this. It's painful. But there is change because this, this card number is number five, and five represents change. So there is change. So maybe something, some change in the dynamic of the relationship that's forcing them to have to go in and look at this thing that they don't really want to look at. All right. The other two cards is Six of Swords and Eight of Cups, which is of walking away. But there's a whole bunch that came out, so I'm going to put it back and see. But that's these two cards. It's interesting, the two cards of leaving a situation and walking away flipped over along with this. But I'm going to put it back and see if they come back out. But that's their thoughts right now. Their thoughts is they're in pain. They have regrets and remorse. And they're looking at this, but they're being forced, their thoughts is they're being forced to look at something they don't want to look at that has to deal with emotion because it's so painful. Spirit guys, angels, what is the direction? The direction? All right. The direction of where the relationship The direction of where the relationship is going between Taurus and their person. What direction is this relationship heading towards or the outcome of this relationship? Spirit guys, angels, what is the direction? The direction where this relationship is going. Direction where this relationship is going, spirit. Page of Sword, Two of Wands, and Five of one, Five of Pentacles. There's going to be some clearing out. Clearing out. It's like clearing out all the junk. Clearing out. It's like something is coming in, clearing out. See all these birds? They're flying away. Oh, it's too bright. I don't know if you can see that. There's birds up here. It's like something came in. It's, what I'm seeing is like um, a dense forest or dense wood. And something's, you know, you go in and you cut all those branches and trees and to make a pathway. So there's going to be some clearing out, which goes with this feng shui of clearing things out, organizing so energy can flow. So clearing out all that junk, kind of like in the deep, deep jungle. So clearing out, planning, planning for the future. But underneath, un the underneath lying energy is five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. Not having a place to go. Feeling cold and isolated. Feeling kicked out. So... Taurus, I don't know if it's you or them or both of you, but you you guys are going to decide to do some clearing. Clearing of stagnant or neg negative energy and planning for the future. But either your partner or both of you, I'm sensing it may be them, may feel 
like they're being kicked out as you're doing this clearing as you're doing this clearing or as one of you it could be vice versa as one of you is doing this clearing and planning and I'm assuming it's you because this was on your side of this new beginning new start new adventure someone is going to feel left out and they may be feeling left out in the cold like they've been kicked out see this nice warm nice warm church with light and warmth but these people are out here so that so this the direction of this where it's going is there's going to be some clearing and some planning for the future but there's also going to be a feeling of being kicked out or left out or isolated left in the cold and maybe also worries of money or lack of money all right all right, so let's see what you want them to say. What is Tara's emotional or feeling message to the person? Tara's message. I know I deserve the best. So you're, that's the message you want to share with them or your higher self want to share with them. I know I deserve the best. So as you're taking a time out and pausing and reflecting and looking at things from different perspective and angle, you want them to know that you deserve the best. All right. So let's see what they want to share with you. What does Taurus person... I'm trying to make this even. What does Taurus person want them to know? Taurus person... What does Taurus person want them to know? In regards to the relationship or how they feel about them. What does the Taurus, what does Taurus person, what does Taurus person want them to know, Spirit? What does Taurus person want them to know? What message from the Taurus person in regards to the love relationship or this relationship with Taurus? Spirit is helping me. So they want you to know that Spirit is helping them. They're getting help. They're getting help to go deeper and seek dip deeper. Because I feel like this person has always lived on the surface. Skim. To skim the surface. Never really took anything really deeply. Just the surface, but spirit is helping them to go deeper to see what's underneath. It's scary for them. I'm getting a sense that it's scary for them. They rather live on the surface, this superficial surface where everything is well, everything's fine, everything's always good, 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 fine, fine, fine. But in reality, it's not good, 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 and fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's see from the mental mind. What what message do you want to share with them from the from the mental body? Oops, wrong wrong deck. This is messages from Taurus from the mental body. What message does Taurus want to share with their person from the mental body? What is Taurus? What, what does Taurus messages from Taurus to their person? Okay. Need to cleanse my energy. Wow. So you're 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 telling them you need to cl cl clean your energy. Remember, I was saying I saw a clearing, like a clearing, cleansing, cutting. And there, here's this organization of the feng shui, organizing to get energy to flow. So I'm getting sense, Taurus, for some of you, maybe this um, relationship has kind of clogged you or clogged your chakras or clogged your energy field or somehow it bind you or bound you in a way where energy wasn't flowing or maybe you love this person that even though you're a deep spiritual person, you went along with this surface 
but it's not you, so therefore it, ma it made you clogged because you couldn't, your spirit couldn't be you or couldn't, so somehow the energy for you didn't flow and you're tired of being clogged all the time. It's like being constipated all the time. You know, it's an uncomfortable feeling. You want things to flow and be airy and light. And, you know, energy needs, the chi needs to flow through the body. The river needs to flow. The drain, the pipes needs to flow. So that's what you're letting them know. You need to cleanse your energy. You need to get your energy going. You need to clear out these blocks. And that's why there's this cutting of this... That's why I sense like a deep, thick forest, and you have to cut and create a path. All right, so let's see what they want you to know. What does Taurus person want to share with them from the mental body, mental thoughts? Messages from Taurus person to Taurus. Messages from Taurus person to Taurus. What does Taurus person want them to know? What does the Taurus person want them to know, Spirit? Taurus person. Messages from the person Taurus is involved with in regards to love. I think it's that one. I miss you dearly. All right. So I don't know if you guys had a break or a pause or a fight or not talking, but... They want you to know that they're missing you. Okay. So maybe this is what caused them to go deep within. So I don't know if this separation you guys are in or whatever happened, it, it's causing them. It's like you're the catalyst for them to go deeper, to look at this painful thing that they haven't been wanting to look at and spirits helping them. But while they're doing this, they're missing you. The sense I'm getting is like, you know, someone who, um, let's say, is, addict, is an alcoholic or is addicted to gambling or addicted to drugs. And they, they carry on and they carry on. They've gotten away with it. And then someone they love put their foot down or something major happens that forces them to go to AA or forces them to look at their behavior, look at their addiction, look at their the consequences of their actions or lack of actions, and they're being forced to deal with the, this painful issue or addiction or habit or behavior that they have. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Something in the relationship or maybe you or whatever happen is forcing this person to go deeper and look look at something that they've been avoiding to look at but something motivated them enough to to do this and if it's you that's good so maybe that's part of the akashic record part of your soul contract with them that you're a catalyst to force them to to do this which is a good thing, although it may be very painful for them, but it has to be gutted out, right? You can't have this tumor or this cancer growth or poisonous growing, 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 and pretend like you're fine because one day it's, it's going to hit you. So what do they call that hard love? Taurus, maybe some of you are giving hard love. All right, so let's see what messages the angels have for you guys. Angels, what messages do you have for Taurus and their person in love? This one wanted to come out, this one. Seek enlightenment. Seek enlightenment. So that's them, the angels telling them to seek enlightenment. Messages from the angels for Taurus. Messages... Be discerning. Be discerning. Have compassion. And let go. Wow. So these, these three came out. This one was on top to be discerning. 
have compassion and let go okay so what I'm getting is if you must cut you know cut because here's here's a sword and a sword again so you're cutting something while you're cutting this and and setting this person free to fly have compassion so basically let go let go with compassion as you're cleansing your energy as you're cleansing your energy and taking this drop of faith to this new adventure and you're cutting cords or cutting whatever you're cutting or cutting this person out of your life maybe or cutting have compassion doing that process because it's very painful for them it's they're not used to it some of us are used to it you know dealing with our pain and our issues especially if you're a healer but for someone who's just lived their whole life on this surface where everything's fine everything's good and they've been wearing this mask or 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 have this role and to ha have the mask ripped off and go deep it's very painful all right but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it because if that's part of your soul contract with them then you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and then the contract will be satisfying for, for fulfilled so use your discernment use your discernment as to what you need to do and what you need to say and how you need to do it or how you need to say things how you need to deliver the message or how you need to communicate things all right Taurus I'm going to leave that there I'll wrap this up that will wrap this up for your reading for this June 2019 I hope that provides some clarity and was useful and helpful to you in some way let me know in the comments if it resonates Thanks so much again for watching. Love and light to you. Best of luck on your journey, and I will catch you next month. Bye, Tars.